Intelligence has provided us a lead regarding this new weapon the Rebels are employing. Dubbed the Magnetic Pulse Warhead, or MagPulse, we have learned the Galactic Electronics Corporation has been responsible for designing, manufacturing and selling this new technology to the Rebels. They must be made an example of for trading with terrorists. Furthermore, Admiral Zarin has taken a great interest in this new technology and wants to learn its secrets for use in the Imperial Navy. As such, your primary objective will be to capture the main GEC facilities where the warhead has been developed and manufactured. Once under our control, we can interrogate its board members and scientists for more information about the MagPulse and their dealings with the Rebels. You will be flying an assault gunboat designated Tower 1 and will join our assault transports in engaging any enemy capital ships and then disabling the GEC facilities. You will be escorted by a squadron of TIE Advanced Starfighters and the Ecliptic Star Frigate Inferno's own TIE complement. GEC are not known to possess any significant forces to oppose us, but we must expect potential rebel involvement. Be alert for any craft attempting to flee the facility. We must capture as much of the GEC personnel as possible so we can learn everything we can about the MagPulse technology. Also, be on the lookout for any opportunities to spot more Rebels to capture and interrogate. The Rebels' new MagPulse technology is being developed and sold by Galactic Electronics in the corporate sector. Secretly developing new weapons is bad enough. Selling them to enemies of the Empire is treason. The Traitor's Deep Space Research and Manufacturing Facility is to be seized, stripped of all new technology and its board members arrested. The Ecliptic Class Star Frigate Inferno will lead the attack, supported by Assault Transport Omega, Assault Gunboat Tau and TIE Advance Group Delta. Start with eliminating any opposition that may be present before disabling the facilities. Once disabled, Assault Transport Omega will begin boarding operations and their stormtroopers will begin the seizure of the facilities and taking prisoners. When the area has been fully secured, the Imperial 2 class Star Destroyer Glory will arrive with several cargo ferries to offload assets and collect their existing stores of the warhead. The Rebels' new Mag Pulse Tech. We have to take it down before we capture the facilities. Tide Advance Group Delta, provide cover for the gunboats and the assault transport. Hey, one, Zack and Crab, dead ahead. Hey, one, there's a bandit going for a missile box. Hey, one, watch out. Here, I'm having trouble over here. Another bandit down. I've got a spark that's firing at me. This is fire. I'm engaged in the center. This is four. I've got a spark that's firing at me. This is four. I'm having trouble over here. Wow. Got him. This is a six. 
Successfully capturing the GEC facility, we have demonstrated the folly of working in opposition to the stated aims of the Empire. Selling weapons to our enemies is an intolerable act of treason. Now, some good news for you. Because of your dedicated and exemplary service to the Empire, you have been personally selected to receive advanced combat training in the new TIE Defender. Report to the combat chamber and select the TIE Defender missions. You have ensured that the Imperial Navy has full access to this new warhead. 
no doubt Admiral Zarin will be most interested in its design and use for his own future projects. 